Hi guys, welcome back to Harry Makes Up. I thought today we would do something a little bit fun, but still kind of with a minimal twist. And um, we're gonna play with neons today. I think they're kind of having a bit of a moment at the minute. Um, it feels nice and kind of appropriate for summer. And I'm just gonna show you the way I would wear them. So I've got nothing on my skin right now, just a little bit of waterproof mascara left over from earlier, which I'm gonna use to my advantage. So I'm just gonna brush through my brows. I'm gonna take Ardell Stroker Brow. I'm just gonna use a little bit of that to give myself a little bit more bushiness. I think a bushy brow with a neon liner always looks really nice and gives it more of that kind of effortless vibe. So I'm just following the direction that my brow hairs go naturally. And I find a good tip with making this look realistic is have another mirror further in front of you as well. So you can just keep back and kind of referencing how it's all looking. Before we go any further, I am going to moisturize. So I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Face Base. I'm just gonna use this all over my skin. Now, do excuse my hair today, it's being very crazy. I feel like one side is literally high, it's like bounced up higher than the other. Um, and yes, it has been cut correctly. I think it just doesn't normally bounce up this much on the other side. So I'm just applying this onto my skin. And today I want to keep the skin really natural looking, so I'm going to take the Chanel, uh, this is the Sculpting Balm Essential, so the one that's called Sculpt. I'm going to take this and just start to apply a bit of sheen to my skin. I'm going to do this on my nose. Anywhere just where I want the light to catch. So I'm just taking the Kevin Aquan, this is the, I think it's called the Essentialist Surreal Skin Concealer and I'm just doing a few dots anywhere where I've got a little bit of redness and I'm just gonna take my ColourPop, I think this is the F5 brush, and just kind of buff and perfect a little bit. Just through any areas of redness coming through, uh, anywhere that just might need a little pick me up. And then with what's left on the brush, I'm just taking that actually all over the base of the eye. So I'm not actually putting any pigment on, it's just the residue just kind of like evening out the colour. And then I'm going to go in with one more layer of the Chanel, just to use this as a way to kind of like push anything in that needs a bit of extra blending. Sometimes using a cream highlighter is a really nice way to kind of not only add a glow, but also to like push product in a little bit more with warmth of your fingers. Just so we've got a nice kind of glossy, glowy skin look. And then I'm just taking a little bit of lip balm. This is the watermelon one that tastes amazing. This is Le Parody. So it's quite a glossy lip balm, but I'm just gonna leave this to kind of sink in while we go on to doing the eyes because here comes the fun part. So I've just curled my lashes and I'm gonna take one of these eyeliners from Fenty. Aren't these amazing colors? And forgive me, but I have to take the pink. I just think the pink is such a cool color. It's so vibrant. And I'm just gonna do a winged liner look. Now, don't worry if anything goes on the lashes. I mean, goodness, look at that colour. It's amazing. Now, if ever you buy an eyeliner as well, just a quick tip here that you feel is actually really difficult to apply given the applicator, I recommend taking some of the product off on the back of your hand and then using it with a brush that works for you. Just so you kind of get that cool pigment, you get the colour. Oh, so cool. I love it. So I want to do quite an intense wing. And then I'm just kind of like filling in. Oh, it's so fun though. It's so opaque and so matte, I love it. And then just before it gets too dry, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the excess off with a tissue just very carefully using my fingers. And then you could use a lash comb if you needed to pull any extra lashes back into place. But before it fully dries, I wanna go back in with mascara. So I'm actually gonna use this one from Pixi. This is like a two way. Look at this, this is so cool. It has like one side that's like really thick and then one side that's like really, really fine. So I'm gonna use a bit of that just to coat and make sure the lashes stay really black against the kind of vibrance of the pink. Now I'm gonna take with what's left on this mascara one, just the tiniest little bit on the bottom lashes, but I just want it to kind of like tint the lashes rather than look too much like mascara. 
Then to keep the cheeks soft but still bring in a little bit of that colour, I'm going to mix two colours from Glossier. I have got Puff and I think this is Beam. Yeah, so just a nice kind of like soft corally pink and apricot just to give a little bit of colour to the skin. Um, but it's just going to be like a nice kind of watercolour wash. So that's the two colours on the back of my hands. You see they're not going to kind of be too distracting. But I think together this will be like the perfect kind of just hint of something. Um, and I'm going to use the same brush I used at the beginning for my foundation. So let's just do a little bit of colour. But I just want it to look more like a kind of stained watercolour vibe than anything too much of like an intense blush look. Do a little bit into my temples. And you can layer this, don't forget with the Glossier um, cloud paints, you can always layer. So I'd start with less and it's easier to add more if you need to. For lips, I kind of want to do very, very little to be honest. I feel like I might even take a little bit of what's left off that blush on the back of my hand and I really pat it in. And I've got lip balm on at the minute. But I'm just going to smooth that in and just do a tiny bit more of my Chanel sculpt just on top for a kind of glossy Cupid's bow. I'm not going to do any pencil. I'm going to do a tiny bit of powder. I'm going to use a bit of Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish number two and I'm just going to use that on her powder and sculpt brush. I'm just going to use that in the centre just to knock back the shine anywhere I don't want it. So now we've added a little bit of powder through the T-zone. I feel like it looks more like real skin with that kind of like healthy glow like you've been outside, but again, still very minimal. Everything's very like minimal. And then I'm just gonna finish with a little bit of the Hourglass. Um, this is the, uh, what's it called? The Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel, just in soft brunette, just to give a little bit more direction and fluffiness to my brows. That's the only other thing. I think this look needs and then everything else for me is about kind of keeping it simple white tea vintage denim I think looks really nice with this kind of like statement look I think it gives a bit of fun to something more simple more minimal so let me know if you'll be trying this look or if you've tried any of the Fenty eyeliners really recommend them I've had them on before and they literally last a whole day and do not budge um, I love this color pink I actually think it's so wearable so let me know if you'll be trying it let me know if you're feeling neons for this summer I would love it if you guys subscribe thank you for watching and I'll see you soon for more thanks so much guys bye